Welcome to the On The Edge podcast. I'm Stephanie Quayle, musician, songwriter, and mental health advocate. Throughout this season, I will be chronicling the behind the scenes of each song off my latest album, On The Edge. I hope each of these eight songs, these eight pieces of my heart, resonate with yours from the moment you heard them until the time you now hear the truth behind them. From betrayal to grief, to love and laughter, this story isn't just mine, it's ours. And I'm ready to take us on a journey of redemption to redefine ourselves through honest discovery. So borrow some courage until the courage becomes your own. And that's when you'll be ready to tell your truth. So buckle up, because sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. I'm Stephanie, and this is the On The Edge Podcast. Have you ever felt that the truth of your life was stranger than fiction? That if you told the truth, that maybe others wouldn't believe you? I never thought I'd be that girl living out what seemed to be an alternate universe, but there I was on the day of my long-term boyfriend's memorial, taking the hand of his young daughter that I'd helped raise over the last four years to say my final goodbyes. It all seemed so strange and completely surreal. There were only a few days between his plane crash that took his life and his memorial. It's really not a lot of time to process this life-altering change, you know? Grief for five days wasn't enough. But it wasn't until the day of his service that things started to get, well, stranger than fiction. We had the memorial at the Santa Monica airport, right near the crash site. As I picked up his daughter, we made our way to the memorial, and we discussed how we were going to stand together, sharing our sentiments to everyone that was coming to honor his life. I remember so vividly us walking in together and looking around at a sea of strangers. There were so many people neither of us recognized at the memorial at the airport on that Sunday. There were so many women. I just figured he had a lot of exes and... They were all coming out to share their feelings and and sentiments. And so as we walked into this crowd, we both decided that we were going to hold back our sentiments there, and maybe we would share them at the family funeral a couple days later. And as I made my way home that night, and, and his daughter went home with her mom, not shortly thereafter, one of my closest friends came to my house and said, you need to get over him as quickly as possible. I remember looking at her as I was numbing all this pain with cigarettes in this courtyard of this home that we were building a life in together and just saying to her, what are you talking about? How can you possibly tell me to move on? I'm, I, I, this is the love of my life. I'm still dealing with his dental records in the coroner. And that's when she shared with me that a woman approached her only hours before at the memorial introduced herself as my late boyfriend's girlfriend and that she was set to meet my friend for the first time later that week at a party. But then she said that God obviously had other plans. My head was spinning and I wasn't sure what to make of any of this. I was grieving the love of my life while simultaneously learning these these truths that were hard to believe. Grief fast-forwarded into betrayal and anger and hurt and disbelief. And all those times that I had questioned him or felt like something didn't feel quite right and he made me doubt myself through you're insecure or you're crazy or all the times he only called me by my last name. Now it started to make sense. Before we go on, I'd love to introduce myself if we haven't met before. I'm Stephanie Quayle, musician, songwriter, cowgirl, and mental health advocate. I grew up in Montana and have three horses, Magic, Stanley, and Cash. And I love country music, which is what brings us here today. In August of 2021, 12 years after his plane crash, I finally felt it was time to write my story 
into song. And in November of 2022, I released these songs into the world, a collection of eight songs that make up the album titled On the Edge. These songs, these literal extensions of my heart, not only capture the events of that day and what followed, but they also capture the emotions of the four years in that relationship. And I'd love to invite you to walk through each of these songs with me through the first season of this podcast. My heart for this project is to bring you into how my story unfolded in hopes of finding healing together. Because I believe the story isn't just mine, it's ours. It's one we can all relate to. It's one we've all lived out at some point. One of pain from betrayal, grief from a relationship ending, sleepless nights of ruminating thoughts, but also standing in the gap until we find our strength again. And through these eight episodes that walk you through the behind the scenes of these songs, I'd like to bring the power back to us because it's not about them. It's not about the ones who hurt us. It's about you and it's about me. And it's about redeeming the parts of ourselves we may have lost along the way. So join me each week right here as I sit with you just as if we were sitting on my sofa drinking coffee or maybe a good sipping tequila and detail out my journey of healing, as well as pulling back the curtain on the whole songwriting process. So be sure to hit that plus sign or follow button in your podcast app so you'll be the first to know when every episode drops. So, friend, are you ready? Tune in next week and let's go back to the beginning. This show is produced by Elizabeth Evans Media Productions. All rights reserved. I had to touch the edge.